basic ass room, but I'm gonna just show y'all. My stuff is over here. Yeah, as we wait. Hey YouTube, I am officially four weeks post-op and I am at my appointment currently and I'm about to get my belly button checked on and then also my incisions. Something is going on with my incisions, so we got to look at all that. Um, I'll let you know how it goes and then I'm also going to kind of go more in detail to what I've been doing for the past four weeks and just how the healing process on my belly button has been going. And um, yeah, so I'll probably see you guys in a, in a little bit after my appointment. I'm just, I'm really over this whole healing process. As I said, I wasn't gonna be anyways, but you're just so restricted, but I'm over it to the fullest. Um, Apparently, my tape is going to have to stay on for like a couple more weeks. So I'm kind of like upset about that. I'm like, damn, at least I can take the tape off because it's been four weeks, but apparently not. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a few. I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer. I'm still happy with, you know, my results and stuff. But yeah, I'll check back in with y'all later. So hey, YouTube. I'm gonna be updating y'all. I am officially four weeks post-op tummy tuck. Um, I've had a few complications, but nothing too bad to where I've been hospitalized, but I'm really over my healing process. I'm over the surgery. Like I'm still, I'm still happy with my results, but the complications I had, I'm having, I'm just, it's making me like be over the process. So I showed y'all my belly button. And if you haven't seen it, go watch the last video. But yeah, that's still healing. Um, and it's still like having a little bit discharge. Um, at the four week appointment, he put a little bit of nitrate. I think that's what it's called. Something nitrate on it. Silver nitrate. And he called it a day. He didn't give me an update. He called it a day. So two days before my four week post-op, two day, two two days before my incisions call itself wanting to open or it it opened I, I noticed i was laying in bed and i saw that my stomach was leaking so i'm like what the, like did my shit just open up so i was like i'm not gonna call him because i have my appointment coming up so i'm gonna just tell him at the appointment what's going on so at the appointment, he tells me that basically my incision is trying to my the ooh, not incision, but the the stitches was coming through and that it was going to heal up in a couple weeks. Don't worry about it. And then literally, like, as I left the appointment, I got home. The It opened up even worse than what it was. So now it looks like my basically my stomach is open um treating it like a regular wound that's all he told me was the he really said i don't have to put gauze on this one but i'm still gonna put gauze on it because why i don't know it's it's i just i'm going to put gauze on it um but yeah that those little situations have me over my tummy tuck process like i'm so done with it and on top of that, I just, I'm ready to get back in the gym because I'm still, still not at my goal weight. So it's kind of like, ugh, like when I look at myself, I'm still not happy. And I'm just like, damn, I wish I would have got this. I would have got this done, got that done. So yeah, I just been really over it. So that's why I haven't been like doing as much as I could be, do with like my videos for you guys. Because your girl is, that's it. This is I'm gonna do one more video at six week post-op and then that's probably it for, for my tummy tuck updates. Um, yeah, so I've been using Arnicare for the swelling and it's helped because first I had heart swelling around the incisions and that has gone away, but I am still very swollen. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. It'll be at the end of the video. Um, cause I did go out tonight and I have on a little outfit and I don't have on my compression garment. 
So what you guys are gonna see is just how my stomach reacted, not having that on and how it looks. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. I am honestly dissatisfied with my post-op care from my doctor. I just feel like I haven't been getting enough information from him or like all my concerns haven't been answered. Like a lot of people have been commenting, commenting and you know, wanting to me to like his name and stuff. And like, I recommend him, like he did a pretty goddamn good job. Like my incisions look pristine, but like post-op care, terrible, terrible, terrible. Like it's terrible. Um, but he, y'all, if my incisions look amazing, my incisions look amazing. Like you can barely tell besides the part that's opening up, you can barely tell that I've been cut open. Like that's how clean he did it. So I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, and I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys the tummy tuck four week post-op vibe and just let me know what you guys think. Um, my doctor is Dr. Luke Kurtzinger in Savannah, Georgia. Um, I do still recommend him because he did a goddamn good job. He just, the aftercare kind of sucks. And I don't want to blame him for that. I kind of feel like he has a bunch of patients because he is so good. So, you know, he probably is everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Um, but yeah, let's, let's stop talking and show you guys the body. The body, that's what you guys are here for, so all right so like i told y'all um i just got back from out to eat so and plus i didn't have my compression garment on all day so this is all still swollen looks disgusting and i'm ready for these little dips to go away like the little hip dips and stuff Belly button still covered, even though my belly button looks terrible. Anyway, but yeah, I'm very happy with my results. But let me tell y'all why I'm happy with my results. My stomach looked terrible in the front. Um, I had like a bunch of stretch marks just sitting right here and a bunch of stomach just sitting right here from pregnancy. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture because I said I was gonna show y'all my pre-op picture but I never did. So I'm gonna just insert a picture right here. But yeah, as you guys can see, like my stomach was just so messed up that I couldn't even wear like a crop top if I wanted to. It's like, you just see all the, the stress marks sitting. So yeah, I'm happy with my results just cause I can, you know, do what I pretty much wanna do now. I'm just over the belly button part. Um, and I still have a bunch of weight to lose in general. So I'm not really like, oh my God, tummy tuck, tummy tuck, tummy tuck. Cause I still gotta get my ass in the gym. So um, I do wish I would've splurged out on that lipo and my boob job, but I guess y'all, y'all will see me doing it next year. Y'all see me doing it next year. But yes, that is my four week post-op body. Um, the next time I'll probably check in with you guys is six weeks, maybe eight weeks so I can get in the gym some so y'all can see a little bit of difference. But yeah, I'm still very happy with my results. It's just the complications have me over my old tummy tuck situation. But girl, if you want you a tummy tuck, go get it now. Like, leave a video, call your doctor, and get, get a tummy tuck because... I'm just, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Like, girl, I can go out like this now. Like, I can go and nope, nothing's rolling over. Like, whew. And y'all, while I'm ending the video, I still can't stand up straight all the way. Like, I can a little bit. But I always find myself leaning back over at the end of the night. So yeah, and I'm four week post-op. I haven't went back to work yet. I actually go back to work next week and I'm really terrified because I wish I had another week off because I'm not sitting up straight yet. And I'm, at the end of the day, I'm tired. My back still be hurting. So work is about to kill me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I will be back at eight weeks post-op and I will show you guys the tummy tuck results. Hopefully I'll get to show you guys my incisions by then. Um, 
So yeah, let me know what you guys think and let me know if you have any questions and I will answer them the best of my ability. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, so I'm editing and I just wanted to come in and tell you guys. So I will be checking in with you guys at eight weeks post-op. Um, my belly button is not there at all. And I will probably show, I will definitely have, show you guys my belly button at the six week or eight week post-op video but right now when i say it's like the tip of my fingers my belly button is gone i don't know it's like the hole is closed up so i don't know i i know it's the way you can stretch your belly button out with like a marble or you can buy like a belly button plug um but i haven't been cleared to do any of that yet because it's still literally like discharging stuff and it was bleeding the other day so i'm just literally having a spiral I'm trying not to focus on it, but then again, it's like I spent so much money on this surgery and I'm getting like half half the results I wanted because I really, really wanted my belly button to be like not a tiny tuck belly button. Like that was my main thing. Um, Yeah, but yeah, I'm not going to Debbie down anyone. Like I still 100% even after watching my videos, even with my complications I'm having, I still would do it again because my stomach looks like 10 times better. Um, I will still wear crop tops or whatever, bathing suits, um, even though my belly button is messed up. And, you know, and I hopefully in the future I could fix it. But yeah, um, I still do recommend the surgery. I just wanted to come in and close it out because I feel like in the video I was just so, you know, sad about everything that was going on with my complications. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty I'm pretty content with my surgery. And I think I'm just having like a little bit of surgery blues, um, which is having me a little down afterwards. So I'm like kind of overanalyzing things that I shouldn't be overanalyzing. Like when I said I wanted to have, like I should have got this done, I should have got that done. Like I feel that way, but I don't want to feel that way because I'm pressured to um, because of my surgery. Like I don't want it to be like messing with me. So... I'm planning on probably, probably having surgery next, having more surgery next year and it'll just be on my boobs and maybe lipo. I'm going to see how working out goes. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely planning on having that surgery. Well, not planning on, but I'm considering having those surgeries done. Um, and not just dwelling on myself, but you know, if you don't like what you see in the mirror, and you can change it, go ahead and change it because I feel like I'm young and I want to look the best, my best right now. And even later, because you know what I'm saying. But yeah, let me stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. I'm so sorry for me rambling this whole video, but thank you guys for watching.